Hello everyone, good evening, happy Wednesday, happy Lift Your Spirits Day. I don't have a spirit tonight, I actually just have Dr. Pepper. We went to Freddy's for dinner, so um, that is my spirit of the evening. And I hope you're having a great Wednesday. If this is no longer live, hop forward a couple of minutes, we're just going to give a chance for everyone to hop on in. But while you are waiting, be sure to hit subscribe, ring the bell, and do give us a thumbs up on this video as well. We go live a couple of times a week is the aim. I'm actually going to be away this weekend, so I'm going to miss one. But um, we're going to have lots of fun this evening. And we do this once a month. And the idea is we take one stamp set. This month, we are using a shiplap background. And I show you four different ways you can mix it up and use it. And then we'll tell you what we're going to be using next month. Because you can either use something from your stash, or you can use, you know, the one that I'm going to be using as well. So you can all craft along with us. Hey, Alicia, April's here. Lola's here. Jen, Olivia, Suzette. Linda, uh, Sharon, so welcome, welcome everyone. Happy Wednesday. I am here. I have all sorts of awesomeness to share with you. We're going to show you um, four ways to use a background stamp. And I think I kind of have them together in my head. I'm going to do my best. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's been a pretty much of a rough week or so here. So I'm just um, trying to get myself back together and whatnot. But I'm really excited about this and I did not want to miss Lift Your Spirits, of course. So um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know why the Zoom wasn't working, Wendy. So I just decided to hop on over here on YouTube and hop in with everyone. So hopefully everyone just sees the notification. Um, I don't know, maybe my computer is having a fit. I don't know. So I apologize. So there is no Zoom tonight. Normally we do this on Zoom and it's interactive. Um, but for some reason, Zoom wouldn't let me in and I couldn't get hold of anyone. So I decided I was just going to hop in here and go live on YouTube. And even Greg's going to hop in and say something. It's Tilly's bedtime. Aww, good night, baby. I love you. Love you. Sweet dreams. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I'll be in a bit, okay? Love you. Have a good life. So, yes. So it's Tilly bedtime. So Greg's going to take her off to bed while we sit here and craft and have some fun together. Um, I'm trying to think if I got everything together I want. I don't really know, but we're going to figure it out. And we also have some new uh, products to share with you this evening. Of course, we always do some fun stuff for Lift Your Spirits. And so I'm excited to share with you what they're going to be. Um, it seems that everyone's starting to join in. So I apologize for every to anyone who was trying to get on the Zoom. I don't know what's happened to it. Um, maybe the passwords changed and I didn't know. I don't know. So I thought if I went here on YouTube, we would all find me and we could still craft together and have fun for Lift Your Spirits. Okay, um, so where should we start? Let's start with the stamp we have for tonight. So this is the stamp we're gonna be using. It is called a Ship Lap Background. It's one of our white rubber stamps and we make our white rubber stamps here in-house, literally in-house. And we have a large, it's in about six by six size, uh, wood grain background. You also then get two pieces of the shiplap included here as well. So you get that included in the set. So this is just my one that sits in my drawer and um, I don't make the team package mine or any of those kinds of things. I'm gonna grab myself a maker's mat or a maker's, whoop, a maker's surface one of mine from my stash. Okay, and we just had these reprinted as well. So I'm gonna put my chair up, unless of course I got the broken chair. If I start going down in a second, you know I got the broken chair, um, which is usually Tilly's chair, I take the other one. But anyway, um, yes, sorry, the Zoom link is not working for those who just joined us. I don't know why, I can't get into it. Um, so there is just YouTube tonight. My chair is going down, so I have Tilly's chair. It's gonna be fine. All right, let's dive in. And I'm gonna start off with just using the ship lap as is, because I wanna show you that technique, but I'm not gonna just use it on regular cardstock, okay? I'm gonna use it on something new, which I really love this surface. It's absolutely amazing. It is called chip off the block paper. And as you can imagine, 
it kind of looks like a woody kind of color. So this is craft. I know it's a little bit blown out on the screen there, but this is actually craft color. So it's that nice brown matches the tags from the other night. This is 130 pounds. So I would call this like a light chipboard or we've called it a heavy duty cardstock as well. Um, so they come in five and a half by eight and a half inch sheets. You get 10 in a pack. And let me get you a linky, linky bink, uh, makerforte.com. I think Bethany's going to try and hop in with us shortly. Um, chip. I'll do it this way so I can see. I'm um, clearly technology is not going to be my friend tonight. So I think I just have to accept that right now. And just give me a second. I'm going to find it. Um, I thought I had all this down. Usually Bethany has links and everything done for me, which is why I thought she was popping in, but maybe she's not. Or oh, she might still be having dinner. So just give me a minute. Um, with your spirits. Nope. How is everyone this evening? It's going to be a night, but it's going to be okay. Chip off the block paper. Here we go. More actions. View. Okay. Here we go. There we go. All right. So you have that. So this is the chip off the block paper. You get 10 sheets in here as well. And I'm going to start off by using some flat white cardstock. Now, fog also works really well for this technique. So just depending um, if you want it kind of light or dark or, you know, kind of what you want. You could always add in a little bit of fog. If you're using a misty, you could go back with fog. I want to just start off. And one of my favorite ways to use a background stamp is I just lay the cardstock on top and then just start pressing. Oh, Laura, you made me laugh. Laura, did you hear we found a stamp set for you? The Be Our Guest. Um, amazing what you find when you type the craft room. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And look at the amount of detail you've got in there too. I mean, you would never get this amount of detail with a photopolymer stamp. It gives you so much texture and things like that as well. Yes, Angela, I was emailed a Zoom link as well. Unfortunately, Bethany ooh, oops, is unavailable and I can't get logged into the Zoom. I don't know if she's changed the password or something while I've been out. So um, I apologize, but we are here on this as well. It's showing sold out. How bizarre. Let me get that fixed for you. I think Kathy just said that. Um, available. Okay, let's try that again. It'll be good now, Kathy. Just hit refresh as well. Um, so yeah, so this is a 130 pound cardstock um, and it's craft colored, K-R-A-F-T. And um, we call it chip off the block because it's a really nice kind of light chipboard. Um, so if it is, is die cuttable, um, it's a nice alternative to using thick chipboard. It doesn't add as much weight to your cards as well. Um, and then um, you can also, you know, do fun stuff with it too. You can emboss it with 3D embossing folders. I would give it a light spritz with some water first if you're gonna do that. But this is our new paper. And so I was just stamping on this with some flat white ink. Now talking of Maker Forte Color Hive Ink, I know we have lots of regulars here, but is there anyone here who hasn't tried Maker Forte Color Hive Ink yet? You can say yes, I'm not gonna be upset or offended. And um, so let me know. I wanna know if there is anyone who hasn't tried it yet. Um, I love hearing these things. So let me know if you have tried it or not. I'm gonna have a quick sip. Sharon hasn't tried Color Hive yet, neither is Sally. So what if I told you, you can try a Color Hive color for free. I'm gonna give you an ink pad totally and utterly 
for free. Isn't, wouldn't that be cool? Um, so, hey, Seal. Oh, my goodness. So I have known Seal as long as I've had Maddie. She used to come to my basement in Pennsylvania and craft with me. How cool is that? So we are so confident that if you try Make a Forte Color Hive Ink, you will absolutely love it. I spent a year with a chemist formulating this and it's on, um, it's dye-based, it's smushable, all those kinds of things that I wanna give you one for free to try. So let me give you a link of how you can go and get a free ink pad. I think you're gonna really love it. So it's Iwantfreeink.com. Super simple. Okay, so let's keep going for a second because we also have a new stencil and I best find the link before, um, before I show it to you. We're doing great. Poor Bethany. Poor Bethany. I'm sorry, everyone. It's clearly just not my evening. Okay. Bethany's going to help me because... Uh, Clearly, I can't get this right. Um, right. I told her we're on YouTube and not on Zoom. So she's going to hop in and help me because clearly I cannot get this to work this evening. So I'm going to grab out some fun stuff while we're waiting for her. Um, and everyone can go over there. Uh, Lola says, yep, yep, it truly is the best ever. Um, I broke down, bought unicorn white ink, and then saw white is coming on the creativation. It is. Um, Wendy, I get my color pop, says I get it tomorrow. Uh, my craft party box just arrived. Wow, 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 wow. Don't spoil the surprise, Lisa. Don't spoil it. Um, Lee got her box today and is love with the background. Um, I'm getting mine tomorrow. I was really home today. Well, there is some really cool stuff in there. There is an extra special surprise in there that I added as a bonus on top of everything else. And um, something else I'm going to tell you about then. Oh, there is going to be a few added. So if you are on our email list, you will get first dibs because when we pack them all, we packed and then we ship them all out. We want to make sure that everyone gets them. And then, um, yes. God, so excited. All right, so Bethany is hopping on. I'm going to grab an embossing powder. Let's see what we've got over here. This is just like the super yummy box of all the embossing powders and all the upcoming colors. So I can't necessarily show you all of them, but I do want. I'm just going to be black. I'm just going to keep it simple. Keep it simple. Um, Elizabeth says, best ever ink. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, all right. So while Bethany's waiting to hop in, I can show you this and then she can get sorted with everything. This is a new stencil. It's called Riveted and it fits all of the elements of your shiplap. So we're going to use it. You can go this way and add rivets like so. You also have a rivets that fit like this, and you have rivets that fit like this. So you can make it look like they all go on and, you know, go on like metal. And the fun thing, so this is one way you can do it that's a little bit different to the way it was kind of dreamed up. Oh my goodness, what happened to my clear? Okay. This is my clear. Do you see that this is actually a paper label? It's not the real label. That's how old my clear is. And clearly very well loved. All right, let's try this. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? All right, so I've never, and these things only happen, of course, when you're live. 
Now I can glue it back down too, that is an advantage. So I'm going to add a line of rivets there. I'm going to offset slightly like that and add a bit more. And then I'm going to go up a bit. And I don't mind if I miss a few because it'll just look like it's supposed to be there. Of course, you could also ink blend if you wanted to. But I'm going to do this and I'm going to use some black embossing powder. Just put a lid on this. Well, hopefully they're going to go over and grab a free ink pad because I am so confident you're going to love this that I'm giving you one for free to try it. And I mean, I can't do that all the time, but I thought it was something fun we could do because I just know you're gonna love it. Now look at that, isn't that cool? So I think that takes that from a nice wood grain background to like a wow that's really got some great interest and detail and it really looks like someone spent the time to rivet that in and all we have to do is just put a little bit of embossing powder and clear ink on it and you could even just do it you could do kaleidoscope powder you could do um just black ink you could do um all that kind of stuff Hi everyone who's joining, hey Lisa. So I don't know what happened to Zoom. Bethany's gonna try and jump in. I could not get logged into Zoom. I'm just presuming that while I was away, Bethany had to change the passwords um, because she's good like that for me. And maybe she forgot to tell me, I don't know, but we'll figure that one out. So for the meantime, I hoped that if I went live here on YouTube, you would all find me. So I'm hoping that everyone it's a notification that we're live and so I did that here as well um Rose I'm so glad you're going to be getting back to um stamping again okay so I'm just heating this to set it before I brush it all everywhere Give me a second and I'll recap. It's just really loud. Okay. So there we go. So once you heat set those rivets, this is how it comes out. And this is on that chip off the block as well. How cute is that? So. So cute. Thank you, Patricia. She says, I already have all of your ink pads. I appreciate you. I hope you love them. Bethany, I think you're here. Um, we are having a bit of an issue with products as well. Some of the products aren't live and we can't get to them. So I haven't got the link for Riveted yet, but I think you're here because you just sent me a text. So I think you're here. Um, but how cool is that? So that is number one is take a background stamp and then take, and you don't have to just use this one. You know, I created this Riveted because it will coordinate perfectly, but you could use these rivets on all sorts of things or just use them as dots or, you know, make a background out of them and all those kinds of things as well. And um, so if you want to try it, um, you can try any stencil and put it on top of a background stamp and create some really, in, you know, some great interest because I love the effect of going from this, you know, like a, a blank stamp to just adding that detail because it means that my, you know, I could literally add a sentiment and I could be done. 
like a simple saying or something. So that is tip number one. So for those of you who are asking, we are giving away, I am so confident you will love these Color Hive inks. Um, as I was saying earlier, I spent a year developing these with a chemist. It's our own formulation. You'll notice because it's octagonal. No one else has an octagonal base. Um, it has a silicone foam, so it's really smushy. They're thick, rich, opaque colors. I'm giving you one for free. And I really mean I'm giving it to you. I'm not making you pay for the ink pad at all. Um, there is a small shipping and handling charge on there just to help me because, you know, the post office, it just goes up and up. But other than that, I'm not charging you for the ink pad and I will send you one of my favorite colors. So uh, Heather says, I love my inks. They're the absolute best. Yay. Hail the Oracle. Hey, Bethany. Yes. Thank you, Bethany. I appreciate you. All right. Let's go with another technique. Um, so that was number one, was to use a coordinating stencil. This one's called Riveted. We'll get you a link shortly. There is, of course, a bundle for tonight as well. And I know some of you were waiting for tonight to get your Mr. Maker stuff. So be sure to get that. I can't believe how many people grabbed this month's Mr. Maker. Um, Greg did do a really good job. With a little bit of help from Bethany and I. Just a little bit. Um, anyway, <laughs> just a little bit. So. You can, of course, always grab an ink pad either to get a duplicate or if you want to share one with a friend, it makes a great gift and uh, with a crafty friend and things. So I'm actually going to use one of Greg's stamps for my next technique. This one comes from Sum Up the Columns. Uh, so you get this one, you get a ledger and you get the most beautiful arch, which actually don't laugh, but it's in the bathroom to be washed. Um, and I'm going to put on here... I'm just thinking about my color scheme a little bit. Hmm. I think I'm going to do blue. I'm going to grab out some Vegas strip, which might be your free ink pad. Who knows? Okay. And now I'm going to ink up my background here with... I think I'm going to do some fog. Uh, so, Stacey, the free ink pad is on a separate site. I just dropped the link for you as well. Now we need ink storage. I'm working on it, Jen. I'm working on it. Okay, so I've inked up this one. And you can decide which way around you want to do it. I'm just going to take my smaller one and press it into my larger one. And you don't have to ink it up. I just find it works better if you do. And it also means you get two goes out of this. So now if I grab myself some cardstock, which in tidying up today, I obviously tidied up my cardstock too, because, you know, who, who wouldn't? So I'm going to do it both on this one. And you're going to see the difference. So there's that one. So you kind of end up with like this stripy grain. And then when I take this one and do it, you end up with the wood grain in the blue. So you end up with two different types of techniques. And by using ink on both, you get two goes at it. Um, so you can kind of play around, but I like the texture in this one. And then you can take like um, a really nice bold stamp, some words across here and stamp this across, maybe like a gold or about the new Moscow Mule embossing powder. Wouldn't that be cool? Can we just grab like a, let's grab a bold sentiment stamp so I can show you. Um... Trying to think of something bold, anyone? Okay. This is the only one I can see, and it's a bit thicker. Um, for right this second. You can store, Chris, your ink pads either way. Okay. 
Um, so it doesn't matter if uh, you store them flat side that way. Ink is suspended within the foam, so it's not going to make any difference. Um, so it's whatever your personal preference is and whatever space you've got. So I'm going to use some clear ink on this. This is from um, Here's Your Sign. This is the stamp set. It's one of our older ones. I think we still have a few of them. Um, but this is called Here's Your Sign. Bethany's dropping all the links for you as well. And I'm going to just take this. Hopefully I've got it the right way up. I guess it doesn't really matter. And of course I can't see where it's going, but it's going somewhere down here. We'll see. We'll see. And make sure with the glitter ones, you give them a shake before you use them. I made sure before I sat down, because I knew I was going to use it on something. Okay. I didn't do a good job of that. Ah, my fan is on. I didn't do the best job, but you can kind of see... I'm going to try it one more time. And there's no way I can turn the fan off from here. So we're just going to have to cope with the mess and clean it up tomorrow. But it'll be fine. And here is another top tip with these glitter ones. Because sometimes you'll find the glitter will stick. Whereas the embossing powder um, isn't there. It's literally just the glitter. If you use your heat gun, it will start to blow it away. And then what I tend to do... is I heat it and then I wait a second. I'm trying not to make a total mess. But then if you take, if I got a brush around here, I'm gonna just use my skirt. Nobody look. There you go. And then brush it off afterwards. You see how only the embossing powder is stuck. And so you can clean off all that excess glitter isn't that a really cool color because it's got black in it and then it's got like that copper shift to it so this is the moscow mule um embossing powder that i just used and there's two different ways to get a texture using a background stamp and a kind of solid stamp okay um they don't even know about some of this stuff yet bethany i haven't even told them about half these things yet we got as far as chip off the block and as far as um riveted that was it. So, um, yeah, Lisa, you feel my pain with fans in the craft room. It's, uh, yeah, it's going great. Okay. Okie dokie. What's next? So, as Bethany let the cat out the bag, the proverbial cat out the bag, Alex is sparkly. Um, I guess I should show you some of the things that Bethany told you about, and then we'll get a couple of other ways to use up your, or to use your background stamps. Okay. So the next one we have was something that you all requested. And of course, you know, we're always happy to oblige when you request. So this is called bottle up stickers. So we released this really cool bottle die, which I'm going to craft with next week when I get back from Arizona. And um, it makes a super cute gift box. This one, Katie, bless her. She glued together by accident. Uh, but I showed you her soda one that came apart. Now, you can stamp the bottles. There is a stamp set for the bottles. But um, we also have these sticker sheets. And yours will be die cut. I literally just printed these off seconds before I went live. But these come on thick sticker paper. And they will be cut for you exactly where you need them to be. Uh, so you can peel them off and stick them on your labels and integrate them with the stamp set. You've got dad, different kind of nutritional facts. You've got alcohol consumption will make you believe you are whispering. I assure you, you are not. World's best pot, limited edition. Beer makes everything better. Craft time out. Authentic gentleman, best pop. Happy Father's Day, best hubby in the world, best hub 
happy birthday pop life happens beer helps and of course that fits on the top of your beer bottle uh dad bod happy father's day the consumption of alcohol may cause disturbance in the time space continuum whereby small and sometimes large gaps of time may seem to literally disappear you've got best grandpa best dad ever best pop best grandpa ever authentic and original best father all those kinds of fun things and then you also get included you get a second sheet which contains them all in black and white and they are foilable. So you can foil these as well. So this is the um, bottled up stickers. Let's see if it will let me copy. Copy, paste, maybe. Hopefully that worked. Um, so that's as well. And that. And then this is the chip off the block paper, Lisa, that we were talking about. It is 130 pounds. You get 10 sheets and um, the riveted stamp stencil is separate. And um, it is 130 pounds. It's what I would call a light chipboard or a heavy duty cardstock, just you know, to give you an idea. You can see it's nice and sturdy. It gives you that chipboard effect or a lovely craft and it's got a lovely grain to it. So it's a bit different to just a craft cardstock because of that as well. Hey, Carrie. And then we also have our jagged edge stencil. So I showed you this um, the other day as a sneaky peek in Lift your, in uh, Mr. Maker Monday, Greg and I use this. And the idea is you can stencil and make it look like you've got these kind of cool torn edges. But we also give you all the torn pieces and you can actually use these to tear again. So now, something I pointed out, and I think I drove Bethany slightly crazy, was, okay, that's great, but it's really hard to tear cardstock. So is there something else we can do? Now, for those of you who have messaged me and said the amazing paper that we printed our catalogs on, this is it. And it stamps amazing. I'll stamp something on it for a second. You can't, I'm unfortunately, Linda, the PayPal um, is not on that site. So this is designed to be perfect stamping paper. So for those times where maybe you want to make a gift wrap, maybe you want to make a box and it to be really easy. It also tears really nicely against the edges of your stencils. Like if you want to get a really nice tear, I'm terrible. Like I can't just do, like I watch Tim Holtz and people do these tears. I'd be like, nope, don't like that. Whereas I feel like if I have a little bit of a control and if you have some of our wave stencils or our sky stencils or any of those kinds of things, you can use this to tear against it. It is a hundred pound um, text weight. So that's a 40 pound bond. So again, it's not um, super thick, but it's not thin like copy paper. It's somewhere in the middle. And as I say, you can stamp on it. So if I just take um, the stamp we're using tonight, which is now covered in embossing powder, but that's okay. So if I ink this up, this is another one of our colors, British Racing Green. Oh, thanks, Shelly. I love to hear that. Cat just knocked something over in my office. So you can see, like, it really picks up that color. It doesn't bleed through. Yes, you can see a little bit on the other side. That's because it's thin and I stamped a dark color. But it's not bleeding. It's still nice and crisp. You can stencil on it. It has a light coating, not too much. But, um, yeah. So this is perfect stamping paper. You get 20 sheets in a pack. Um, it's also great if you want to do like inserts and stuff on your cards. It's a really nice weight for doing inserts. Um, it's what our versatiles are printed on if you've ever had some of those. So um, you can try that out. So I love this stuff. I use it all the time um, in the craft room. It is also what your maker's mats are printed on. Same. This is all the same paper. And so you're using it all the time. And I was like, and so many people are like, well, what paper do you use? And we get it from a mill. We have to buy it by the pallet. Um, it's not something you can just go to the store and buy for fun, which I wish you could because it's awesome. So we're selling it in packs of 20. So there's that. Um, do, 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 do. Um, 
I'm trying to find the link for you. Perfect stamping paper, copy. Uh, the perfect first impression smusher tool is one of these. I'm grabbing it, I'm grabbing it, I'm grabbing it. So this is a smusher. It's designed to use for your stamp platforms or, you know, when I did this and I put this over the top, if you don't want to use your fingers, you can use this. It's hand turned out of wood so it fits in the palm of your hand. Loads of people on here have got them. They're going to um, let us know what they think of them. It has a firm felt pad on the bottom. You can see mine is well loved, but that doesn't matter. And it just gives you even pressure as well. Um, so you can, uh, you know, play with it and things. That is included in that perfect stamping bundle. You get one of these. You get prime time and you get a um, squid buster. Okay. 404 error code. Uh, I'm not sure what, um, Jen, you're getting the error code on as well. Um, okay, I'm making sure I've gone through everything. So I've talked about, oh, I don't have tonight's die. Bottled up stickers, riveter stencil, jagged edge stencil, perfect stamp. Greg? Greg? Okay. In the meantime, while Greg's getting tonight's guy for you, um, I want to show you layering pansies. This is what we're going to use next month. Alicia, yes, this was designed especially for you. Um, yeah, you're probably right, Alicia. Um, Matthew, are you there? Someone's there. I can hear them. <laughs> so this is our layering stamp. Um, these take me forever to design. For some reason, I find these super hard. Um, but you get all of the different things in. And it's color coordinated. So all the pink pieces go together. All of the purple pieces go together. All the blue pieces go together. And all the yellow pieces go together. Um, yes, Cheryl, we'll post it to Australia. Bethany can let you know more info. If you email her, ecom. I'll put it like this, at makerforte.com. Um, she will do that as well. And um, so, yes, but also the cool thing is inside there's pictures. So Bethany has put this together for you to show you the purple cluster, how you put it together, to show you the pink cluster, how you put it together, the blue cluster, again, how you put it together, and the yellow cluster, again, how you put it together as well. Plus, remember, you can, if you want everything I'm showing you tonight, there is an amazing bundle that Bethany's put together for you. And you basically get, um, I think it's the stencils for free with the bundle as well. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we've tried to put it in there. So everything is grouped by color on the insert. And then there are instructions inside. You can fold that out and let you know as well. Who loves this pansy? Other than Alicia, because Alicia has tattoos of pansies on her feet. So hence why this existed. Um, love that. Pansies and tulips are my favorite. So you've been really lucky recently, Jen, if you've got the subscription box as well. Uh, Lola says she loves it too. Okay. Does anyone object if I just run and get the die? Because I don't think I'm going to get any help. So one second. Record time. Bethany, I think that was pretty good considering I ran all the way to the front door and back and I'm right in the back of the house. Whew. <sighs> well, she's gone. Who wants sneak peeks? Now, now, Bethany, you tell me off for those sneak peeks. Okay, so the last thing I have to share with you before we get back to techniques, whew, it's talk wordy to me. So this is you. So this goes with hi and there's other words coming. And the reason... Oh, I got myself out of breath there. <laughs> uh, the reason we do our dies like this, so um, you've got hi and you and other words coming, is I want them to be mix and match. Um, so the idea is you can do hi you or happy birthday you or be happy or whatever word you want to put together. So rather than having to buy tons of sets like I have a ton of word dies and you always have to buy all these sets 
We are kind of sticking to two main fonts. And then the idea is you'll be able to mix and match the words together. So that is the idea Whew. as well. I'm sorry. If anyone else wants the link for, no, that's not it. Um, for the free ink pad, I was going to drop it back down there for you. So give me one sec. I just ran as fast as my little legs will carry me as well. Yes, and the dies do come in these thick cardboard envelopes. If we think it's something you need magnets for, we add that into, and they have this little Velcro closure. And then on the front, it's printed, there you go, um, with what's inside, so you don't have to look. And it even gives you the size, look, too. So it's everything is there. Um, let's use this U to do it that way. Uh, yeah, we'll do it on this one. Mm, actually, no, we're gonna do it on this one. I'm just thinking about it out loud. So I'm going to use this U for our next technique, actually. And let's do it on some. I'm going to use some cappuccino cardstock here. And I tidied up all my stuff today, so I know where some things are. Um, and you do not have to sit them apart either, Jen. Isn't that awesome? I couldn't stand that. That was like a deal breaker. If I had to snip them apart for you, if we had to snip them apart, that wasn't happening. Um, the other thing is someone said they're terrible with layering stamps. Well, next month's Lift Your Spirits is I'm going to give you all the tips you need to do layering stamps. Um, and I have some doozies, let me tell you. So you're going to love it. Okay. So... Bethany, did we get those boxes listed? Um, the, um, do, 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 the ones we talked about, the five standalone ones. Oh, sorry, my nose. Or do I have to go live later in the week? Yes, Debbie, we are trying to have them done as a blank. So that on the front, you'll have different sizes and you can actually stick a finished copy of your die cut out so you'll know what's inside. And yes, you sh that's what I'm working on with Bethany. We've been working on getting that for you. So I'm gonna just use this in a second. Sorry, Bethany, sorry to ruin your dinner. Tell James I'm sorry. Apparently I'm not competent to be left alone yet. So, you know. Okay, so this is cappuccino cardstock. This is just scrap paper that, because we stamped on it earlier, so I might as well keep using it. I'm gonna use clear ink. Now, some of you might know what technique I'm gonna do. And there is some personal preference to this technique. I will share what's going on. This is Pebble Dash. This is one of our new gets me out the dishes I love it um this is one of our new embossing powders it's really cool it has um like a gray base I'd almost call it like a concrete color and then I'm gonna lift this up so you can see it has chunky crystals in it of gold and black hence why I call it pebbles in the sand because it's kind of what it reminded me of and then Again. Again, give it a shake because those particles will separate just because physics makes that happen. I'm going to heat emboss this. Now, if you have ultra thick embossing powder, you can mix this in at this point and do a couple of layers with that too. Um, if you don't, don't worry. Don't go in within about five seconds with your clear because your embossing powder will stick to your pad. If you work quickly, you don't have to do the clear in between. Um, but, you know, that's that. 
So I'm going to pull this on again. Now, as I say, you can alternate layers with ultra thick if you want. We do have a chunky crystal embossing powder come spoil coming, I should say. Spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> now, for those of you, I know some of you messaged and said you wish you'd have got your tickets to the crafter party. Um, then you can, we have five, Bethany, I think. Um, she has a link ready for you. You can sign up. There are five extras that we made um, just in case. So they are now available. And Bethany's going to drop you a link of how to get one. Now you're going to get a box full of $200 worth of goodies. Now those, I know Lisa Fitzpatrick said she's got hers. So she can give you an idea if it's worth it. It's 106 $9.99, I think. And not only do you get $200 worth of goodies, you also get an entire weekend full of tuition. So for a whole weekend, we're going to spend it together. You're going to get um, a live class every hour. You get lifetime access to these classes. You get supply lists. You get giveaways. You get exclusives. You get free shipping for the whole weekend. You get um what else um and every hour you basically get two lessons because you get one from a blogger and then you get one from me as well plus you're going to make a ton of friends laura says she got her box lisa says it's so worth it um i think i saw carmen says she got her box today as well lee got her box it's totally worth it um so bethany has dropped you a link there are five that's it because we only um make a limited number I hopefully have one in here, although I don't actually see it. So I'm hoping they accounted for me in their five. But, you know, I guess I'll find that one out in a minute. Um, but yes, you will get it. Um, Lisa says it's definitely worth it. I flipped out when I opened my box. There is something in your box that you cannot even buy yet. And it's kind of crafty related. You can use it in the craft room. You can use it in other parts of the house. Um, Annette got the year pass. Is that the same thing? Yes, it is. Yours is on the way, Annette. Um, Carmen's going to shop with her gift card. Yes, she is because she's a clever girl. Um, Lola says it's love at first sight. Laura loves this box. So have you all opened the big black envelope that's there? Don't say what's in it. But has anyone um, opened? Lee says, I'm going to use mine on my desk. I think it is so special. Um, Christina says, yes. Yes, love it. So there is something special. When you open the box inside, there is something special in there. All right. So that is layer number two. I'm going to suggest you want, mm, well, the more you put in, the more pronounced this effect is. But. I don't know. I usually like to do four or five layers, so I'm just going to work quickly while we're chatting. Well, I say quickly, you know, relative. It's all relative. Lola just can't wait. No, Jen, you have to wait. The surprise is in getting it. Although I'm the worst at waiting, so you know. Okay, I'm going to do one more. It's not quite as thick. I would like to put an extra layer of chunky in, but I don't know where my chunkies are, especially my new Maker Forte chunkies. Which, spoiler alert, don't just come in clear. Our chunkies are coming in some fun colors, girls and boys. And Greg is trying to claim them as Mr. Maker because they're chunky and manly. I don't think we should let him. What do you all think? I don't know. I really shouldn't be trusted with this stuff. Uh, yes, Bo. Bethany just dropped the link. If someone can repost it, that would be awesome. If not, I'll do it in a second.
Okay. So a good rule of thumb here. Oh, don't worry, Cohen. You can go back and see it. Um, it's hilarious. Um, but anyway, a good rule of thumb with this is when you start heating it and you see, particularly this is a good thing with pebble dash, is when you see the colors moving around, almost like, imagine you've done a paint pour. Imagine you've done a paint pour, okay? Um, then you know you're kind of at the point. So I'm just give this a second to dry because we need to have all of our ducks in a row for this one here. Um, give him one. You think we should call them Mr. Maker Chunkies? Chunk, chunky, Mr. Chunky? I don't know. I'm going to get myself in trouble here for a second. Um, so we're going to do this last layer. And I'm going to show you because you need your ducks in a row a little bit before you heat this last layer. Okay. Uh, if there are any metallics in the chunky, let the Greg have those. There are. There's actually, I've never seen some of these colors in chunky. So I'm quite excited by them. Bethany, that was what I wanted on my list that we were going to talk about. That was one of the things I wanted. But I'll call you in the morning. Don't worry. Okay, so this is where you just want to have everything lined up a little bit. Hi, Catherine. This is Pebbles in the Sand, uh, which is super cool. It's like chunks. It's got a gray, like, concrete -y base, like an eggshell kind of color. And then it has black and gold uh, chunky crystals in it, which is how we get into this as well. All right, so when you want this, um, Mr. Maker Chunky sounds great. Okay. So what you're going to do is I'm going to totally get off tangents. I'm going to just bring myself back and stay here for a second. So now I have my last layer on. You want to have your clear stamp, re your stamp ready. It has to be a rubber stamp. If you do this with a photopolymer stamp, I am not going to be held liable because it may well melt on you due to the temperature. I don't promise it will melt, but I don't promise it won't melt. Vulcanized rubber can withstand the temperature that we are going to do with this. And it's a really fun technique. So do do try it, but make sure it's a rubber stamp, a white rubber, red rubber, any of those kinds of things. I do suggest inking it. This already has ink on it. So I'm good to go. But either a fog, a clear, you can do archival colors and transfer the archival color into what we're about to do. And now we're going to heat. So I'm going to heat my last layer. And I'm going to take a pause for a second because two reasons. One, I want to show you if you get called away, it's not a problem. But two, look how pretty that pebbles in the sand is. Look at that. Can you see all those amazing, like the black and the gold, like the distribution in there? It's super cool. It really does remind me. But if you get called away, you could also just leave it like this. It's really pretty. It has a nice bit of depth to it. Let's just pick this up. So you can see it's got a nice bit of depth to it as well. Um, so you could absolutely just do this and then maybe layer some vellum on top or something. But what I'm about to show you is going to take this to the next level. So you're going to reheat this to the point where I said to you, it looks kind of like paint pouring, like with that acrylic where it starts moving around. You also don't want to um, overheat your embossing powder though. So it's definitely a delicate balance. And because I have quite a big piece, normally I'd suggest when you do this, start with a smaller piece. Because it is hard to keep a big piece all hot at once. So I'm going to just go backwards and forwards for a second. If you have two heat guns, like if you have the Ranger one and this Wagner one, that's a really great thing too. But we're just going to kind of go with the flow. And I just stamped my stamp right on top. Lots of pressure. Okay. <laughs> Burning smoke and flames is overdone. Yes, it is, Lisa. Um, and if you haven't tried the inks, go get one. This one for free. Honestly, free is 
what we all love. Okay, so all I'm doing is just pressing down my stamp into my embossing. I think I've done this before. I know I've shown it once in a Halloween class, but I don't know if anyone's actually been brave enough to try it. And then when you lift this up, hang on, I'm gonna peel this off. Please be careful, it is hot. Look at that. So now I have all of that texture. Look at that, that wood grain is actually in there. Can you hear my nails against it? So cool. And if by any reason you did this and you didn't love it, you can reheat this. It will go back to completely flat and you can leave it flat or you can redo it. But then you could do this and then you could cut out the U and put it on top and just have that texture on top of your riveted piece. Look, like there's your card done. So easy and so effective. Um, and off you go, super easy. And yes, I adore this technique. I love it. And once I get chunky crystals, oh my goodness, you're gonna see this test sneak tons because there are all sorts of amazing things you can do. And I have a really cool demo to share with you with embossing powders at pod, uh, crafter parties. So um, do come join us because you do not want to miss this one. It's so cool. Um, I'm just like loving embossing powders right now. And if you want to get a little bit off, you can break it off. You can heat it and just kind of round it off. All those kinds of things. Yes, just like the spider web. But this is a little bit thinner and it's just with one color. But exactly the same idea, but it has to be a rubber stamp. Please all pay, raise your right hand and promise me you will only do this with rubber stamps and not with photopolymer stamps because they will melt. Please promise me that. Super important because I don't want anyone messaging me and saying, Oh, I ruined my rubber, my photopolymer stamp because I put it in molten embossing powder. Yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. Um, yes, uh, Annette, there is a link for you for free ink. There you go. That's all you have to do. Love it. Carmen's raised her right hand. Lisa's raised her right hand. Lola is pinky promising me. I'll take a pinky promise. Um, Alan says, is there a way to see what's included in the crafter party? Yes. No, Alan, it is a surprise. You can ask the ladies here, though. Some of them have already got their boxes. They'll, they might give you some tickets. Somebody said there was a basket weave background stamp in there. Um, BB just got her free ink. Woohoo! Um, Lisa just raised her right hand. Laura said, yes. Okay, excellent. Lisa says, no spoilers, please. You can all say whether it's worth it or not. Is it worth getting a crafter party box? Not just for the box, but for the weekend experience as well. Lots of you raising your right hand. So, um, yes. Okay. There we go. So that is my lift your spirits for tonight. Hopefully I have lifted your spirits and you've had a good giggle along with me. So I showed you how you can use the chip off the block, which is super cool. You can also use a coordinating stencil to add a little bit of zing into your backgrounds. We also talked about how to heat and then add texture using your background stamps. Like this is a whole new way to use your background stamps, let me tell you. And then I also showed you, where did it, here it is, how you can stamp, I don't even know what that was for, um, but how you can stamp um, your two background stamps together or a solid stamp and a background stamp and create two totally different effects. Look, I mean, these were so different. This is, and you get both prints from one go. So just depending how subtle or how intense you want it to be, you can do that. And if you did this one all over the wood plank, it would look like different um, types of planks. So if you took this one and you inked it up with frappe, which is nice and light, like that and then you inked up Greg's one with some flat white I don't know how this is going to work with the blue but we're going to figure this out like that and then stamped it out
You see how that looks like kind of aged wood and things? Super, super cool. How cool is that? So you can do it that way. You can do it by adding a splash of color this way. You can do it by adding texture to your background stamps this way. Um, we talked about doing that. We talked about adding texture. And then if you want to join us next month, don't forget to join, to grab your layering pansies, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna teach you tips and tricks for using layering stamps, using minimal colors, using maximum colors, just depending on what you wanna do. So go grab your free ink pad at IWantFreeInk.com and you can use it next month for your pansies. Um, we also have those dies. We have the new stamping paper, all those cool things. Bethany's dropping links and everything for you as here as well. Um, so yeah, lots of fun things. I hope you all enjoyed tonight. Don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the bell, of course, and then hop on over to IWantFreeInk.com um, grab your free ink pad and then pop on over to make a forte and grab your layering pansies. All right. So I'm super excited. I hope you've all learned some tips, tips and tricks tonight that you can transfer to not just your shiplap background, but of course, all of your background stamps, because you can use all of these techniques with all of your background rubber stamps for that heat embossing one, though. Just be careful. Please, please be careful. Um, so thank you, anyone. Um, Sandy, no, it is not the only new item. Let me get you a link to the collection. I don't know if Bethany's still here. She was trying to dive out the dishes, so I don't know if she's still here or not. But uh, I can help you. We had some techie issues tonight, but um, it worked. And if you didn't get a chance to make her stuff on Monday, be sure to also grab that because... Um, I'll be going away at the weekend. And so I'm trying to make sure the guys have everything done in time. Um, but we only have maybe like six of the bundles left. So I'm going to sort this by newest, I guess. That should do it, I think. Nope, that doesn't do it. Okay, so here's some of the stuff. Jen just says, it just dawned on me, was last month's Lift Your Spirits. Yes, so every month I tell you what we're going to use at the next month's Lift Your Spirits. L-Y-S. What month are we in? May? Yes, May. I'm not, I'm not so hot on it either, Jen, so don't worry about it. And I think Bethany's labeled them wrong. I think that's why we can't find any of this. Let me see if I can find a link from earlier. Ah, Bethany's got the link for us. There we go. I'm dropping it in now for you. There we go. Thanks, Bethany. You're the best. All right. So thank you, everyone. Um, I cannot wait to see you again soon. So I am off to Phoenix on Saturday. I am teaching at an event for female entrepreneurs. And then I'm super excited because on Tuesday, I'm getting the, an award for a woman to know. So it's the top female entrepreneurs in the US. And I'm getting one. I'm so excited. So thank you for all your support because I wouldn't be a top female entrepreneur without all of you. I will share more info. I will share details on the dress. We went, it was a whole dress shopping. So I will share all of that with you on Tuesday with all the info. And um, yes, so lots and lots of fun things. So I will see you. I will get back um, on Wednesday and then I'll be going live Wednesday, Thursday. So keep an eye on your emails because Bethany will let you know when I'm going to go live and I'm going to do the beer bottle um, because we have these cool new stickers and lots of you have asked for instructions on how to assemble the beer bottle. So I'll be doing that as well. Oh, I know. Greg, are you there? I heard him a second ago. Greg? Nope, we lost him. I was going to show you because Katie made a sample of what we're going to make at Lift Your Spirits. And it's the most adorable thing in the world. But anyway, they'll have to say for our next live. So make sure you've hit subscribe and ring the bell. And maybe we'll see it next time if there are any boxes left. Um, so I will see you all very soon. Thank you for joining me. And have a wonderful rest of your week. I will hopefully be able to check in from Phoenix. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.